I got a, th- a yeah. question. Rick, I've known you, I knew you a long time, you know, so, uh, and when I first saw you in FSW, I was like, man, this guy's just great. Cause, cause you could talk. You know, and at, at the time, bro, there's not, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of good talkers out there, you, you know, in professional wrestling today. You know, like, like even on the indie scene. And like, you know, when I saw what you, up? like, like, I was like, man, this guy's just got it. What, 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 why is, why is he not in WWE? Why, you know, is it like, for whatever. But, uh, but bro, like, I just, when I saw you work, I was like, okay, this guy, this guy gets it. He works smart. You don't have to go out there and kill yourself. You don't like, you know, but, but here's yeah. the worst thing though. When you work smart, sometimes you get criticized for it. Like you're not doing enough. You know, oh, you're bad you're, and bro, and that's, and, and, and that's, dude, bro, cause the thing is, it's like, I remember, uh, didn't Meltzer kind of bury, uh, bury, uh, impact for, for putting the belt on you? Say like, uh, in I, this I day and age. Something- he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, like, like I'm, I'm not the said. champion for this day and age because of my style or whatever. Right, he said the um, champion needs to be a guy that go out and having great matches every night. And I'm like, I'm like, since when did that? I mean, bro, all you have to do in professional <laughs> wrestling is be a serviceable, decent professional wrestler, and you have to be able to talk. Okay, if you're well, a I'm, I'm, wrestler I, I, and can't talk, I, I'm sorry about it. I just don't. Bro, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to give you a good example. Uh, Eddie Edwards, right? Everybody loves Eddie. Good guy, mm-hmm. but. Bro, when he was on the mic, he had no charisma. You know what I'm saying? And that hurt him, you know? Well, you and, know, it, it, yeah. I was just going to say, this isn't going to be popular with the smart marks, but that doesn't, it, it doesn't make money. Um, yeah. it's, right. it's, it, 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 it caters to them, but for a general audience, you always, in this business, we want to grow audience, right? You want to bring in casual fans. Casual fan doesn't care if you're going to do 58 backflips. That's cool for a moment, but if you're not leaving them with something to remember, Right. Like, they're going to remember the move for a little bit, but once the next guy does another move, they're going to forget about it. Like, nobody goes up to Steve Austin and, like, goes, Stunner! They, no, they go up to him and they'll, they'll go, oh, hell yeah, or they'll go, that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. They're, they're going with the things that resonate for a long time. And so I'm watching these guys doing moonsaults to the floor and, and just killing their bodies, which it's good to take a chance from time to time. you got to do something flash from time to time. But if you go out there every night, Beating your body up like that, man, that's dumb. And, and it's also, I don't know, man, when you make it look too much like a choreographed dance, I think, again, that's going to turn off the casual viewer. Yeah. You've got you've to you've right. look like a, like a champion, like ADR looked like a champion, you know, Lashley, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, gotta, you look the yeah. part and you talk the part. Let me tell you something, Sean. You can tell people this. Anybody that ever criticizes you that uh, talks about great matches and stuff everything, a great match in the history of professional wrestling has never drawn a dime, okay? All the dimes were yeah. drawn before the match started, all right? So it's like, a, a, you know, so it's like, say, so if you, if you can't get the people to come, who gives a rat's ass if it's a great match or not? You know, once you 100%. got the money... Once you got the money, and if, if you have those, if you, and you, you have, you've always had this, and I've always put you over for this, you have the intangibles required to draw money. You look great, and you can talk, and you're a decent professional wrestler. And that's, and that's, bro, that's in this, in this day and age, if people would just accept that, I think wrestling would continue to even evolve. And like, maybe we, we would, we would see the guys that, uh, that can promote themselves and promote their matches through, through the verbiage and stuff, everything, like, like getting, getting put over more than they are, you know? Thank you. I totally agree with that. And that actually, let, let you know me what? explain I, in a, to in you. Way, let him finish. He, go ahead. Let him finish. I, I, I'm just going to say, in a way, I, I take I take what Meltzer said as a as a, a compliment mm. because I, I think that he feeds into the worst of wrestling in a sense. In those super smart mark fans who like 58 super kicks to the head, like, and people say, "Well, the business is evolving." It's QZ. Hello. Well, the business is evolving. Fine, you could say the business is evolving. The human body is not evolving. If I get kicked in the head five times, I'm done. I, you, I'm not going to get up and then slam a dude. Yeah. Like it just doesn't make sense the, the, what what it's turned to, what it's become in a lot of people's eyes. And again, that's where you lose the casual viewer. The casual viewer sees me get kicked in the head five times, and then I pop up and go run somewhere. I, I, I've just lost them. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me let well, me bro, give that, you that, a little. That's, that's, wait, wait, okay, now let me talk. Boom. Okay. Okay, I couldn't believe this guy stopped me to let you talk when he never lets anybody talk, Eli. And let me tell you what. Let me tell you why that happened. Let me tell you, this guy just gave you a really good Chrome job because he's expecting you to put him back over. So easy, WD forty with the long neck suction hose. Let me tell you about the guy. Let me let me tell you about Di for a minute. No, now he got me hot. 
<laughs> the guy thinks that today's wrestling sucks, especially like Lucha and women. And let me tell you what he's trying to do. He's trying to get you to get him on the show, but not as a mouthpiece, but more like your arm piece to make you look better. Okay? What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? Yeah. Bro, this is bro. Let me tell you what he wants to do. He has a beef with Scott Tuggles deal more. Is that true or not? Um, he's on the he's on the list. Yeah, yeah. list. He's on the disco list. He's also coming after a friend of the show, but a disco detractor, Jeff Jarrett. But fate had other plans for Jeff, so he's basically trying to get into creative, okay, to push his invisible. You know, he came up with the visible man idea, right? The what? Did you know about that? Yes. No. In WCW, he came up with a character called the this Invisible Man. This is all Man. fake news, by the way. This is not fake news. <laughs> and <laughs> Bill Dean, the evil architect. That's fake news. Okay, that's Terry Taylor's idea. 100%. Hey, that is fake okay. news. All right, that, that is, is Terry news. Taylor's idea. Do not, do not marry me to Bill Dean. Okay. okay. That's b- 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 Correct, but say his name right. Say his name right. Terry, the Stooge Taylor, and if Stevie Ray would hear, he'd call him the racist. Oh, boy. Anyway. That's accurate. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. So that's what's going on, Eli. This is all that Chrome job was. That's not true. It's not true. <laughs> well, I, well, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, get get in there where you can, you know? Yeah, he'll take it. <laughs> Eli says, I'll take that Chrome job anywhere I can get it if it's real or not. 